What is going on everybody? My name is Harister Gaming and welcome to Poppy's Playtime. Now, I have not heard much about this game to be honest with you. All I have is seen a few short clips on TikTok and I've seen that Markiplier and Corey's Kitchen have played it. I think that it is an indie game, indie horror game, kind of like a bigger Finance of Freddy's where you can actually do a lot more and I've heard there's some type of puzzles involved as well. Um, if you do enjoy this video, I would love if you leave a like. That's all I ask for. I would never ask for a subscribe or anything like that because it's my first video. So, you know, as a first video, this game is going to be fun to play. And if you have any criticism or criteria, please, please, please write it down below because I will be using it for the future for any other video game I decide to play because you guys are the guys I'm trying to entertain you. You guys are the guys I'm trying to make laugh. So at this point, it's all for you guys. All right. With that being said, let's hop right into this video. Chapter 1, A Tight Squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. She's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Okay, that was kind of cool. I like the little sketch in there. Can you tell us what it's for? Oh, sh they are. Okay. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Nah, y'all are all on dead, man. I think Poppy got you. She's kind of creepy, man. I don't like Raggedy Ann looking dolls. Definitely after Annabelle, if you guys have seen that. It's like a Raggedy Ann doll that murderous or possessed or something. Ooh, I like the, I like what you're doing with the place. A little rust, you know, you're trying to make it look like some 1930s type stuff. The, the wooden, uh, the wood block in the door is a little bit too much, so you guys are going too far with that. It ain't that abandoned, come on. All right. Security? Hey, what's your name, little guy? Oh, you look kind of happy, boy. Ah, oh, I love you. What is this? Oh, how do I pick it? Is it E? Oh, it is E, okay. Click on it though. Um, all right, all right. Green goes to green. Yes, sir. What is your name? What's going on? Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware. While we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. 
It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Dude, I'm an a freaking co-worker, man. I used to work here. How am I intruding? I'm just trying to save you, bro. Man, these people just got a problem. What is this? Oh, 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 oh he got. Think you boogie a little too hard in that, man? Were you having like a little bash in there or something? Huggy. Oh, ooh, huggy. My guy. Wait. I know a boogie ball looks like. What do you look like? Oh, is that the is that the guy on the wall? That's the guy on the wall. What are you doing out of your box, man? That does not look like Boogie Bot where it's torn open. You look like you busted out. I don't like that. I do not like that one bit, Huggy. Dude, you gotta like solve your anger management or something. Dude, all of you guys busted out. Ooh, Boogie Bot. <laughs> Dude, what happened to you? <laughs> Bro, you look like you party too hard. You fell down some stairs a little bit. Maybe a 50 foot cliff, actually. <laughs> um, what is this? Candy cat, aww. Where's, where's candy cat at? I don't want candy cat. Candy cat's cute. We'll give out again. Huggies, huggies. Why are none of y'all in your boxes? I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. Cause you guys are not like ripped. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, there's my content for the week. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd love it. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Let's go to security. Actually, hold on, let's check this area real quick because this might be important. And there was Jack. Nothing. Okay. There was absolutely nothing there. That is crazy. What are you? You weren't in the toy store. Why are your legs missing? Alright, so I think one of the staff members kind of got mad at the dolls and just started dismembering them, I'm assuming. Okay, that's definitely not it. Alright. Uh, Poppy wants to play. Those uh, those eyes are staring into your soul too, right? Because they're kind of terrifying. Poppy, um, you, you got a problem, man. You can't just look at strangers. It's, it's weird. It's just weird. Get shot. Eat healthy like Ron. Ron, you are very healthy. Tell by the leaves. Um, where's the... Oh, the train, the train, okay. Green, pink, yellow, red. Let's see, let's see. Oh, green, pink, yellow. Oh! Albert Einstein-like IQ, boys. I'm too smart for this. And yes, I know this is a VHS before any of you guys want to be like, what's the green green thing? Yes, this is a VHS. I'm sorry. Well, this one, it's okay. Oh, that's the one. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll write that down. So that's the type of puzzle things I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's what they're talking about and telling about puzzles and stuff. Is this what I'm getting? some uh for some alone time uh i'm gonna have to be back in like five because that's that's nsfw you guys no, no, that's not safe man. not safe Come on, let me go let me go do something because i want to know how top mass security really is where's where's the cameras i know it's awesome there's one oh fudge what the heck oh table table dude 
song is that dude you sound like a cr <laughs> oh my gosh you sound like a coked out goofy hey bro listen man i don't know any cigarettes you smoked in your life you need to stop uh you lucky playtime co has designed hundreds of distinct toys but none connected with people more than that of huggy wuggy our founder elliot ludwig aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever as is always true, Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. Hmm. You look very lifelike. I mean, you're, you're a little ten, legit, like 10 feet tall, but yeah, that's lifelike. With a bit of string and polyester, a level of blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. Okay. Oh, you got Bob the Builder going on. And you got Boogie Bot helping with you, and Tooth Fairy Tiger, whatever the fuck it is. Huggy, you shouldn't have. Is that what you're hiding from me? Is this your little magic trick? How do I, do I just, E? No? Oh, whoa, okay. Um, hey listen, man. I'm gonna go find out where this goes to. If you would just sit still for a second so I can figure it out, okay? I know I know you have got a lot of uh, built up energy in there since nobody's been here in like a lot of years, 10 years, yeah. So um, stick with that smile, yeah. And uh, I'll be right back, okay? To, to let you hug me forever. Um, innovation, testing. Ooh, triangle, triangle means triangle. Okay. Do be kind to others. Do show up on time. Do not hide behind doors to scare away fear. That was part of my plan. Damn. Don't stay past 8 p.m. Misuse company time. Tamper with machinery. Or enter innovation lane without authorization. Well, there is no authorization now, so I am entering innovation lane. Whatever you are, Huggies. Girlfriend? I hope. Ooh, what the? Broom. I don't need a vibrator right now, man. I'm not a girl. Okay. Um, hand goes to hand. Uh, grab to deliver power. Oh! Oh, so it is a puzzle. Oh, do I just. I gotta wrap around it. Okay. 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 Alright. Alright. Yes! Dude. Huggy! Bro! What did I tell you? Ah, <sighs> dude. I don't... You look so friendly, too, man. Why couldn't you just sat still for one second? This one doesn't look very friendly. This one looks dead. Did you kill the other Huggy? Alright. Just knock him over. Just, just knock him over. Candy cat, yeah. Okay. What is that? Nah, bro. Nah, Huggy. Huggy, dude, listen to me. Listen to me. I I don't want to mess with you. No, I'm. Is it, can I enter the innovation wing? 
I don't think he'll be here. So I think I'm thinking I'm better off because he's he's in the dark and creepy way I don't want to go most likely. There's a camera right there too. Is this the secret security they were talking about? Is Huggy is Huggy their security? He's, he's doing a dang good job of helping me out so far. No, dude. Are you hiding on the about the builder sign? I don't like this. I don't like this. Roger, dude. Man, you do if you were not so sensitive on words and stuff. I would totally be fucking Where you at? Where you at? Alright, um, Bronto, I'm sorry, bro. Cat, I'm sorry. Boogie Bot, no, not you. Everybody. What was. I don't like the noises that's coming out of this. What is that? Pick it up? Does it go here? Oh, I'm smart. Remember to take breaks. Oh, is that what you're doing? Ah, oh, you just like to scare people in their breaks, don't you? Oh, man, I should have known. Oh, let me find that back. That's another battery I can use. Oh, another one. Hey, oh, it goes yellow. Where is this? There's four, right? Where's the left one? There's a left one. behind here. Okay. Nothing, nothing. I don't know why the cat's head's on the table, but okay. I'm honestly freaked out right now because Huggy can come out at any time, dude. I don't like this. Listen, I don't. I like the fact that I'm just trying to kill me. I just don't. I don't really want to get into this. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? No. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand, but... Uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's... For the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is, is that even a word? Habitable. Alright, with that, Rich, I think you gotta go to anger management. Um, there's a good movie you should learn from. It's, uh, there's a saying in it called Goose Raba. Goose Raba. Yes, sir. Um, what the? Oh, Huggy. Huggy. You're doing such a good job on your break, bro. I'm not gonna die. Why are you just teasing me, though, man? You know what I'm saying, though, is you better do something for me. So I'm gonna break here. I think you just gotta buy me dinner first, Huggy, before you kill me. I'm hungry. I want to be, you know, if you want this sustenance before you eat me, dude, I need, I need to be fed. Oh, I hate these noises. Oh! Of 
just, uh, you know, even if I am, you know, there's always good to support other YouTubers, even though he has, like, I don't even know, more than 20 million, I think? Maybe not, I don't know. But, he's just, you know, he's always entertained me, even since I was, like, 13, so of course I'm going to talk about him a lot. He's a great YouTuber. He's funny. Uh, okay, make a friend, 1960. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Co.'s greatest feats, yet all the amazing things that he created. The Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. Boot toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs to be fed the proper parts, and it'll lift paint, assemble, and do a quality special on the toy on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or back breaking labor. This machine can do it all and more. I can tell. Yeah, but I was just saying, like, ever since I was 13, I think, I've been watching him, so, I don't know, you know, I just, he kind of, one that made me want to start doing YouTube in a way, it's weird to say, to be honest with you, because these YouTubers, I mean, they probably hear it all the time, that they're their idol and everything, you know, like, he was the main guy I've always watched, I mean, five, two, but. Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof! <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something, right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. Alright, as creepy as it is, I think I have a theory. Because you know, Poppy's a girl, she's pink. This tape includes this girl talking about playing with toys and as a girl. Obviously, the pink is a color associated with girls. I'm not saying pink is a girl color, by the way. It's just mostly associated with girls. So what if, what if each videotape... What if she possessed Poppy, or like her soul is put into Poppy, kind of like finding rights and stuff and souls and everything. What if her soul is put into Poppy, and all the other people in the other videotapes, such as the blue one is Huggy, green one could be like Boogiebot or something, and the pink one could be her, unless it's, you know, Huggy's girlfriend. But, I'm, it's just a theory, I may be stupid, I don't know, I, I think it's a good theory. I like my theories, I don't know. Just for the fun of it. Oh, ow! Come on, man. That was like two stories, maybe. That should not break in my well, snapped, obviously. I don't know how I'm still walking with that noise. Ooh. That was fudged. Alright. Alright, Poppy. I'm coming for you. Or Huggy. Huggy, please don't kill me. Or she will catch these hands, man. That's what that bar is. Okay, the bar is for... Can I, can I do it from here? Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, and it's gotta be shorter. Let me walk it around. Dude, am I this smart? I am this smart. I am fucking this smart. Yeah. No, no. Most kids probably hear this at home anyway. Sorry, you just see my entire I don't got any subscribers anyway, so. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Yeah, really trying to get me over there to go for the lever? Oh, yeah. One of my high makers are holding me down there. I didn't want that. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to go for the lever. Can I stand there with this? Can I become a toy like Poppy? Can you crawl into here? Is that 
10.06 Who's experiment 10.06? Isn't he wonderful? I died by myself No way I really gotta Oh man, okay Well, I'll see you guys when I finish this uh, Alright, and we're back everybody Alright, word of advice If you play this game, you would not jump off Experiment 1006 would be this one, yes. Uh, I don't think that's the thing. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Do not enter. Uh, okay. Ah. Thank you. Oh, I do. Foster hat, adopt an orphan of the day. Spent on co, he's foster and adopted. I don't know. That's so cool. Hey, uh, Poppy's girlfriend, um, your boyfriend has a little bit of a, uh, addiction. Uh, I don't know if, uh, you know about it, if you do it with him, but he might need some help. Take him to AA or something. He might have roids, too, I can't tell you. He's a little bit taller than most usual people are. Alright, uh, I'm just letting you know. Thank you for your time. Catch his hand, catch his hand, catch his hand. Oh, bro, oh, bro, oh, bro, where do I go? Okay, we're out here. Oh, it's open, it's open, it's open. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, ha ha. You can get the van, bro. What the fuck? How do you get the van? How do you get the van? Oh, there's footsteps following me. Footsteps following me. Footsteps following me. Oh, dude.
sound normal. Can I get a scenic view of his blood? Oh, there's a little more there, there's a little more there. Dude, how far did you drop? That does not seem fun. Looks like you fell into experiment 1006, whatever that is. Huggy, dude, huggy. No. Oh, another scenic view. Is there any more blood? Oh, red and blue and yellow. Where's the yellow hand? Can I get the yellow hand? Let's watch the tape. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science, whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... Okay, breakthrough of science, my butt, you died like a dumb you-know-what. Why make something like that? But it's okay. I'm so uncoordinated, I trip on my own feet and I kill them. You just suck, dude. He is not very coordinated, and he died. Hopefully. Okay, that's just messed up. Who does that to toys? Oh, and these pretty little signs telling me to enter. No, run, danger, turn around, no, stop. Go back, aw, I'm so welcome. I love you, Dome the Place. It's a very nice wall decor. You guys kinda, can I shut the door? I don't trust Poppy, or not Poppy, Huggy, sorry. I have not seen Poppy, I don't wanna see Poppy. Because if Poppy, I mean, if Huggy is that scary, Poppy is not nice. You got the nice ambient music going on, though. No, I love, I love the uh, Google Home playing some um, some music box music. Uh, other than that, you get, you need a little bit of rework. Your wallpaper's kind of falling apart. Not gonna lie. You guys have the dollhouse from when I was little? How do you guys get that? Everyone bit, made fun of me because they said it was pink and I'm a girl, man. Again, not associating girl with pink, guys. Do not think I'm not with whatever 2021 20, feelings get hurt as things going on. Toys. What's in here? What's in here? What kind of toys? What kind of toys? Well, I can't touch anything. Why is it switched to red? Huggy, are you gonna be here, man? And I gotta run through like a little demented maze house. Oh, that is Poppy. No. No. You know, you look kinda cute. Are you sleeping? Poppy. We can't sleep on the job. Where's the people? They're supposed to be here. Cushions, okay. Dark. Okay. Blanket, okay. Okay. Do it. Why did the music stop? Why did the music stop? Oh, it just picked back up. All right, Poppy. I'm going to grab this. Do not get mad at me. What the fudge? Oh no, no, no. You opened my case. I didn't mean to. It was just that I was just trying to see what was going on. Why is that? A, why did that wake you up? Oh, gee, that was okay. That was a great game. Well, a great chapter, anyways. I think there's obviously going to be more chapters because you can't really end a story with you up in my case, obviously. But so far, this game is amazing. I love, like, even the graphics, like, for an indie game like this, and how fast it just randomly came up. I don't know how long production was for this game. But that was insane. I kind of understand the hype now to this game. I'm 
hoping chapter two comes out very fast because I would love to play that too. I don't even I have out of words. I mean they're kinda there's just jump scares, like blatant jump scares with dolls and stuff. I feel like more chase scenes like that would be more fun. Obviously it's a little too fast. Like I feel like I had no time to think, but I just got lucky. To be honest with you, I really did get lucky. But other than that, I feel like if they add more type of chasing type value or horror type value rather than him just popping up or random noises, I think it'd be better. But so far, it's amazing. I'm not going to critique a game that I cannot make myself. But I love the game so far. And if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you did not, or if you have any type of criteria, please, 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 for the love of Jesus Christi, write it down below. Any criteria. If I talk too much, which I do have a problem with. If I mumble, if I do anything like that, please leave it down below because I will work to fix it and improve my content day after day for you guys. I just think that entertaining you guys will top of With that being said, I hope you guys have a great night, day, whatever time it is in that area you live in. And I will be seeing you guys later. Bye-bye.